This is uh, Marta. Marta, she's single. She lives uh, in Basel. Um, she just learned she has a, a breast cancer. She's very depressed and uh, she really uh, needs strength. M many of her friends tell, tell, tell her you should find strength in yourself. Well, how do you find strength in yourself when you got such a terrible news? How do you find strength in yourself where you are tired you know, physically and mentally? We think that you should, you can find strength in others. And more specifically, you find, you can find strength, strength uh, in the relationships you make with others. And that's the purpose of uh, empathy care, find the strength together. So I'm going to take you through you know, the, the experience of uh, the empathy care app. Marta can connect with companions uh, around, her, uh, around Basel, for example, and she came across Selena she lives in Basel and you can, you can see the profile of Selena and she wants to connect with Selena. So she, she just has to connect with Selena and Selena would get a, a message to you know, share the journey of Marta. Marta can also connect uh, with uh, activities. She is really looking for you know, soft activities and she came across an activity that is uh, walking barefoot in the forest. She likes it because it's relaxing. She needs to reconnect with nature. It's a small group that's next month. So she's going to book this activity and got in the platform instructions to attend this activity. She can also act, attend an online soft activity. She can also access patient experts. So the platform allows to distinguish patient experts based on criteria. And she came across the name of Beatrice Zimmer, Zimmerman in Bern in this example. And she saw that she has expertise uh, with cancer and research. So she's going to connect with her. She can access her so tip videos, on the bottom right, she can uh, review the replay of a, a conference on, on cancer for, in women. Um, that's our roadmap. So it's an app. There's no, uh, you know, there's no device yet associated to that. Uh, the next step is really to test and improve the user experience of this uh, prototype app, explore and secure partnerships with foundations in institutes who do run such activities and are looking for partnership. Uh, after that, we like to test you know, our prototype uh, partnering with hospitals you know, across the border in Switzerland and Basel and Strasbourg to hopefully launch a, 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 a nice version by December 2022. Uh, there, there's uh, you know, some financial implication. You can see the, the amount there. Half, half of it will be dedicated to UX, UI uh, development work, and, and the rest will be uh, used for basically you know, partnership, establishing partnership and testing. I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Stefan Schobinger, Marta Moratovilla, and Teddy, who were very motivated to build this concept.